wasn't too bad. Uh-huh. Well, I got to the missile before Robotnik did, so does that mean I disabled it? I don't know. I didn't see any missile over there. Did you? I guess the missile landed, like, right inside the building or something. It surprisingly didn't detonate, though, not get the building, building, building down. So you beat me to the missile, you little pest. Robotnik, you Oh, yeah. I will make you all pay for this. Holy poopers! He's serious! Listen to that voice! Oh, poppers. You fool. Away, before I make mincemeat out of you. Whoa, I'm he's really scared. serious. I'm not scared. I can do this. All right, bring it on, Eggman. Last boss. Yeah, I, I think this is the last of Tales' story. This is the Egg Walker. So anyway, he's got some bullets and stuff like that, but uh, you want to avoid those and hit the leg that um, that did the shockwave and uh, hit his main portion of the body, the, the ball portion of like what the spider would be, will fall right down on the floor and uh, then you'll be able to hit it with a nice delicious spin attack like so. And eventually he's going to jump on over to the other side like so, just follow him over yeah, like that and... Uh, Come on, do the shockwave thing. And down um, like that. All you have to do is stay off the ground. And you shouldn't have much trouble uh, avoiding those shockwave attacks. And yeah, this boss is once again not very hard at all. So I uh, go up near him like so. One, two, three. Ah, oh, I accidentally touched the ground. But that's okay. I don't... If you ever... Well, what the heck did I take a hit from anyway there? I actually hit him and I took a hit from him at the same time. I have no idea what happened. So shockwave, shockwave, shockwave. Hit all three of them using your rhythm badge spin attack. And that, uh, that is the end of the egg walker. And why the heck did I keep taking hits from him? I do not know. But that's the end of Eggman. Poor guy, he just can't win. I believe that's the end of Tails' story as well. I think it's going to go to the ending scene and then the credits. So that's kind of sad. I did this all in one day, wow. Which in itself is probably kind of sad too. <laughs> now it only took like an hour or so of being like... Maybe a little more, I don't know. Yeah, that's right Tails, have confidence in yourself for the love of God. Woo, a little spinny walk dance and whatever the heck that was. Fly over the crowd and provide a good show and uh, back to station. Oh, what I see station square for. Back to the Mystic Ruins. And uh, here's the ending scene. Tails is doing a dance in midair happily and he's going to meet up with Sonic. And evidently this is how they meet, met up at the end to do this ending little scene here. Only this time it's going to be totally focused on Tails and not his butt. So, uh, we got a pretty nice song going on in the background. I like this song. This game has a great soundtrack, I have to say. But then again, I like the songs in a lot of games that I love. So, uh, part of the game's experience, I say, is the soundtrack, despite it having nothing to do with gameplay whatsoever. But I really like a, uh, a game's song, songs because it sets the mood for whatever you're playing. In my, uh, I believe that the... Uh, the so a game's soundtrack is like the most underrated thing in a game, but it's like one of the most important things to me. So, and yeah, that's the end of the cutscene there. And Tails, is, if you didn't notice, he was singing just like Sonic was, or maybe he was talking to Sonic. I don't know. But there is the credits. We've seen this before. If I don't know, I'm gonna show it again. I guess it's because it's gonna have some Tails exclusive screens on it that you'll be able to see yourself when you beat the game anyway. So this is kind of pointless in a way, but it does show off the credits, and I do like to credit the people who made the game because if they didn't make the game, this walkthrough wouldn't be possible. So I wouldn't be able to help you through a game that didn't exist, right? So, um, yeah, there's Tails versus the Egg Hornet, the, another boss that just threw a whole plot hole right into the game, because it appeared that different characters tackle the same bosses, which makes no sense whatsoever, even though it's all supposed to be played out on the exact same timeline, but I've said this before, 
and it was Wind Valley. It was awesome aerial shortcuts. You know, as a side note, I still can't believe I lost to Eggman at uh, um, Speed Highway. That was just silly. I mean, there's just so many things that was working against me between the camera and I accidentally took some uh, routes that I wasn't supposed to that would make me go slower. So, uh, yeah, there's the race against Sonic at Ice Cap Zone. That was pretty dang fun, especially when I was able to show off the shortcut. And Tails vs. Knuckles, again, through a plot hole in the whole dang thing. Because Sonic was the one that faced Knuckles on his side of the story. I guess maybe they just threw in those boss fights on other characters' stories just to uh, fill it out. It's just a... I, don't, I have no idea. And we're leaving the hangar at Tails' workshop in this image that I kept forgetting to go to. And I kept going to Station Square. Dang it. I don't know why I kept doing that. I was just being silly. I've played through this game a bunch of times, but yet I still don't remember the sequence of events of where I'm supposed to go after each event, so... Oh well, I'm human. And, uh, so the credits are still going, and I'm running out of things to talk to as I talk, to, talk about, I should say, as I did last credits, but... As I said before, I seem to be fairly good at being able to talk about nothing, as I'm still continuously talking somehow. And there's when Tails got the rhythm badge that went right into his skin. Uh, I have no idea how a badge, you know, badges have that little pin attached to them that attaches to clothing. So, uh, I don't know how it attaches to fur, unless it, like, gets tangled in with the fur or something like that. Or maybe it gets tied around his neck. I don't see anything tied around his neck, though. It looks like it's attached directly to his chest. That's why I think it was, uh, just, like, pinned right into his flesh, as I said before. So that is not very fun on Tails' Tales end, I have to say. So, uh, yeah. There's Tails of the Sky deck, which I completely demolished Sonic on because of all the many, many shortcuts I can take with Tails. Um, though I must say, Sonic plays through the stage quite smoothly compared to how you would be able to play through the stage. Um, because as you know, when I played through Sky back there with Sonic, there was a lot of things that I got caught up on, like wall, walls and stuff like that. Dang those walls, they are the greatest obstacle a hedgehog has ever seen. You brush them just a little bit and your quills must get caught on them or something. And you just get stopped in your tracks immediately, no matter how fast you're going. Obviously, Sonic doesn't want his quills pull out of his body. But then again, if I was a hedgehog, I wouldn't want that to happen either. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the Tails side of the story here, and uh, that about does it. I shall see you guys in the next part when I start Knuckles' story. Doodaloo!